sister said I should get you an umbrella for your birthday. You see, she called to tell me about when you talked to her today. You made at least five references to your umbrella getting stolen and apparently got you wet and everything. Well, she said she gave you one herself, but she already got you a gift. This um, stuff like incense that you burn and it smells like a bar. Well, I heard you can get stoned off of it if you breathe in right. <laughs> apparently, there's some joke about a bar when you were kids that's too difficult to explain right now. If I was assured, it's really very funny. So anyway, she said I should get an umbrella for a gift for you. And I didn't think that was a very good idea because, well, they're not a very personal gift. I mean, when you've been dating somebody for six months, you know things about them. I mean, sure you don't know everything about them, like their whole life story or how hilarious Rebarb is. But you know things, you know, more personal things than, you know, her umbrella got stolen and she came in smelling like a wet sheet. So, <laughs> so anyway, that's like, I was actually walking around the other day and I came to an epiphany. Umbrellas actually are pretty personal in a way, because each one reflects something about the person who wields it. You see, on the one extreme, you got the person who carries a fancy schmancy umbrella. They're usually like a rich fellow invest in some $50 restaurant called the Squasselberry. Or <laughs> <laughs> self important carries their like plaid umbrella like some kind of specter or staff. But then on the other end of the spectrum, you got the person who never carries anything with them. And so usually they're walking around and boom, big rainstorm comes. And so they, in a panic, rush over to some cart and buy a crappy made one for three to five dollars from some guy who pronounces it as umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> then they go and walk around all day with that umbrella until it is completely destroyed. And then they will go and bend it on a puddle where it looks down there, looking quite better than said. But then you got the folks in the middle. You got the ones who have those large um, umbrellas with the large buttons in the front that pop and pop, everything springs to life. But then you got the ones that carry a frog umbrella. You've seen those, right? Remember the, the neon green ones with the big pair of googly eyes on the top? <laughs> Some people like the frog umbrella. That person is not you, though. No, I don't think you'd be caught dead with the frog umbrella. So, anyway, I was going and looking for an umbrella for you, and I, man, I was a little lost on what to get you, but, because I didn't know which one was yours, so to speak. I mean, maybe there's a part of me that longs for the smooth wooden plaid handle of the fancy smanty umbrella. Or maybe you wouldn't at all go to a Swasselberry's, then you wipe me under the shelter of a pair of googly eyes. <laughs> Maybe you're the type who carries an umbrella around to a point that they're completely destroyed and they have those sharp things on top that can kill anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't know. So anyway, I didn't get you an umbrella. and So I didn't get you an umbrella and I kind of screwed up in that regard. And I'm sorry if I don't get the rhubarb joke. It, you know, you never ever mentioned it. <laughs> but, you know, then again, it's been raining on the surf for a long, long time, six months at that. So, I decided that I shall prevent, present you with this rain slicker! <laughs> <laughs> and it's, well, it's clear plastic, so you know there's nothing but you in me. And it's, you know, there's no assumptions, nothing layered, just your nakedness. Metaphorically <laughs> <laughs> Yep. So, wear it well, as my grandma would say, which doesn't mean much to you since you never knew my grandma. <laughs> I can assure you that it's really very funny on the delivery. So, wear it well, and happy birthday.